Wow, nice sun. That's power for our EcoFlow solar panels right here. 220 watt by Fisher solar panel. We got the wiring right here. We're gonna be able to wire this solar panel right into our tiny home. Because in our tiny home right here, we got the EcoFlow power hub. This thing is crazy. It has not one, not two, but three solar inputs. Each port can handle 1,600 watts of solar input. That means a total of 4,800 watts of solar between these three ports, up to 150 volts per port. So you have a lot of flexibility to wire your solar panels, whether you do parallel or series or a combination of parallel series or series parallel, you can do so much, again, 1600 watts per port and 150 volt mass per port. So you have a lot of options right here and we're just gonna use one port today. So let's go ahead and wire up our solar panel. So we got our EcoFlow solar panel right here. We're gonna go ahead and set this up. So the cool thing about the bifacial solar panel 220 watt is that the case is actually the stand included. Boom. Open up the case. Again, this case is gonna be the kickstand too. So everything's included. This is 220 watts of bifacial solar panel for the EcoFlow. Whether you're using this with the EcoFlow power kit or any of the EcoFlow portable solar generator, this thing is an awesome portable solar panel. As you can see right here, it's pretty lightweight for the size. It's 220 watt and it's bifacial. So you can collect sun from one side and from the other side. So you're gonna maximize your sun. You're gonna maximize your capability to collect power from the sun. Let me move out this so we can lay up our solar panel. So I can use that as a kickstand to prop up the solar panels like this. But just for our test today, we're gonna leave the solar panel flat down like this. That way it's quick and easy. Now one thing to make sure that you are aware of, right now, the solar panels are actually operating and sending powers to these leads right here. So when I connect the leads, it's best if I put these into the shade. So right now the solar panels are in the shade, I can wire up. So this cable right here, it's got your MC4 over here, and the MC4 is gonna connect directly to your solar panel, just like that. That's one connection, and here's another connection right here. Boom, that's it. We got the connector into our EcoFlow power hub. All right, so this one now connects to any of these inputs right here. So I can go ahead and open this up and snap it in. Let's go, boom. There's our PV in. So right now, we got the solar panel, it's all wired up. Now we're gonna expose the solar panel to the sun. So there we go, getting some sunlight into the solar panel. All right, let's see how much power we're generating with our 220 watt bifacial solar panel. Again, you got the solar panels in the front and the back. They're only using the front right now. It's okay because we're just doing this as a test. Ideally, we're gonna put the solar panels on the roof of our tiny home. But for now, we're gonna keep it there as a test. So here is the EcoFlow power hub. We got the console right here. Look at the input. We can turn on solar, boom. This is solar number one, whoa. There we go, we got, we got 147 watt of solar. Oh, 184, 184, 187. So we have solar input right there, 191 watt. See, that's free power from the sun, guys. 191 watts. Sweet. So that is free energy. Look at over here. It's a very simple setup, right? This is the EcoFlow 220 watt by Fisher solar panel. Easy way to get power into your EcoFlow, whether it's a power station or whether it's a power kit like we have in our home. 190 watt of solar input right there from the EcoFlow solar panel. Oh, yeah.